Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that, uh, they didn't make it. Speaking of certain things such as that, we also had a bunch of time capsule messages that I completely forgot to read. So, let's go ahead and read this one. I believe this was from, uh, the one that, uh, uh, the one that left us water? If anyone finds this message, my name is, well, that's unfortunate. I was on a survey mission of this planet when my ship was suddenly, insert your own explanation here. I escaped in a life pod. I can't find any other survivors. I managed to make some drinkable water from some of the local fish, but the power cells on my life pod are damaged. I don't know how much longer they'll last. I've also included some supplies in this capsule. I don't think I'll live much longer to use them. If you find this plus, if you find this message, please tell my kids, insert your own version of this here. And then the next one, I don't remember what this one was from, but kaboom! Better get that radiation suit ready, hopefully you'll have lead and fiber mesh on hand. I think that was the one that had the urania- the uranium in it. And this was from Dagon Snake, the god that gave us the thermoblade way too early. But I mean, I'm happy I got it. And I think this one forgot to add a title. Uh, here's to a goodbye. I've left you, stranger, something that I hold dearest to me, my sea glide. From the beginning to the end, this simple yet amazing piece of technology carried my body weight through thin and thick from five, from five meters below surface to 1700 meters below surface. I can never imagine what I would have done without it. Please take good care of it as it did me. Sincerely, Nick. And I did actually go back to the ship and grab that because I kind of felt bad for leaving it. Uh, I have it in here somewhere. Yeah. So I actually did go back and grab it from the ship, which meant that I did get a second helping of Reaper, but thankfully it didn't see me. I just got spooked by it. And Silverlord, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, don't forget to pray to Water Sheep for protection in the deep. Don't know what that is, but uh, I'll get right on that, I think. Speaking of getting right on that, let's eat something so that I can get on the level of good health. See, it all wrapped around. You didn't even see where I was going with that mess. I, I didn't even see where I was going with that sentence, but I found my way through it, I guess. Okay, so to explain what we're going to be doing today, I got the last part of the stasis, uh, of the stasis rifle, um, but I need two magnetite to make it. Magnetite is a very, is a, uh, not really a rare resource, but one that only comes from a few specific areas. Almost all of them have reapers in them, except for one. The purple mushroom cave that we kind of didn't explore because of all the Alaskan bullworms. Now, surprisingly, if I can find it, I did actually find one piece of magnetite on that island where the, uh, the big space gun is. So, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to head down. I'm going to put the propulsion cannon away because I don't need it right now. What we're going to do is we're going to head down into that purple cave, er into that purple uh, mushroom area. And we're going to get some magnetite. Welcome aboard systems online. Let us head off to the purple people eater cave. Oh, uh, that is not the right way. Uh, it was... Uh, how far away is that? Oh! Well, life pod 2, um, you, you're on your own over there for a little bit, sorry. Down here was where we went last time. Let me just make sure I don't hit anything. Here we go. Down here. I think we only needed, like two pieces of these, but I'm going to keep looking for a little bit more. Okay, so it said that there was an artificial structure down here somewhere. Ah, sorry, fish. Uh, let's be careful around the, around the fucking big wormy boys. Trying to, trying to look for a safe passage so I don't immediately get, actually, hold up. Why don't we go make that stasis rifle first? Why don't we go make that stasis rifle first so we have a way to fight these things off that isn't a knife? Because something tells me these things aren't really going to care that much about a knife. So yeah, I'm going to go as soon as I find my way back up. The snakes hide uh, their eggs in the mushrooms. Well, then I just won't get near the mushrooms then and they shouldn't have a reason to fuck with me. Just in case, just in case, I'm going to build myself a bit of, I'm going to build myself some firepower. But first, radio message. Playing partially oh no. Broadcast. Destroy. Again, music kicks in at the perfect time. 
I think the warpers are looking for me now, specifically me and only me. Thank God I got that stasis rifle. And by the way, that does in fact confirm we are 100% alone. They don't hate you, they just don't want the disease spreading. I imagine that's the case, but like, you know, I kind of want to be alive and not infected at the same time. So if we could make that happen, that would be lovely. So, okay, we're going to need the gold. We're going to need the two copper. Do I have the copper? We're actually running low on copper, surprisingly. Well, we'll have a weapon, like a real, like actual pew pew weapon here soon. And what else did we need? Uh, a battery and titanium. Oh no, I can't believe it, guys. I just can't believe it, but you'll never guess we're out of titanium. Can you believe it? It just happened. And we have our weapon. What, no fanfare for the fact that I'm now able to accurately, uh, to accurately, adequately defend myself? Okay, fine. Fuck you too then, game. Let's test it out on this little guy. So you just- Whoa! That was not what I was expecting! How long does that last? You charge this thing up to full and that thing lasts for- so anything caught in that. Yeah, look, the, 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 the guy is still stuck. And there he goes. Anything caught in that is just frozen. Bacon Lords, thank you for the 100 bits. Mission discover- mission discovered. Scanner Reaper Leviathan. Basically, yeah, I'm gonna go do that and, uh, I may even try to punch it. So we're gonna take our Seamoth over this direction. Let me just make sure I'm going the right way. Yep. You know, I know we did this. I know we've saved. Uh, we did this yesterday where we encountered this thing. And hearing these things in the distance is still unnerving, no matter how confident I try to be. Nice to see you again too. Don't worry, I won't stay long. Let's back up a little bit and then save. Just so I don't accidentally pull this thing when I load back in. Alright, let's do this. Alright, now where are you? Where are you, big guy? I got a nice, I got a nice hello for you right here. There you are. Come here, big fellow. Come say hello. I missed. Alright, let's play, let's wait until they come back around and we're gonna try that again. Come on. Come on. Come on, follow the shiny thing. Where did it go? Hello? Mr. Reaper man. I don't want to go too far out there. Come on. Where's the, th there you are. Say cheese. Did I get it? No, I missed. Ah, I need to hit it in the face. Okay, I li I actually do need to shoot it in the face. Where the hell did it go? Like, legit, I don't want to go too far out there because I know there can be more than one. And, uh, while I can definitely tangle with one Reaper, maybe, I don't want to- I don't want to try my luck with two. Come on, buddy, turn around. Give me a minute while I try to coax this thing into actually coming to try and eat me. Come on. Reaper. Reaper. I have a present for you. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where the- Oh, whoa, 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 where did it come from? I'm gonna back up a moment here, get some air, and try to figure out what the hell I just witnessed. Okay. Again, that's why I don't like going out in these waters because I know these things are weird and they move weird. Gotcha, bitch! Now sit the fuck still. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you, have a good day. Uh, 
All right, let's get in my Seamoth and let's run. Whew. <laughs> well, that was a thing that took place. Okay, well, that... <sighs> I thought the thing was following me. No, that was a stalker. That was just a stalker. I thought the thing was actually following me for a moment. DM Bell, thank you for the 100 bits. The fact that you did it in one try deserves these bits and a hug gives hug. Thank you. It was, it was a technically one try. I had to kind of coax the thing out a few times and it did manage to take a piece of me with it. So I guess we'll go ahead and say one try. I guess I didn't die. So that's the important thing. Seriously, I saw the shadow on the ground. I was like, where the fuck is it? Is it glitched into the ground? Then I looked up and I saw the thing re-entering the water and I'm like, oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> that was kind of a clever girl moment. If that thing is female or if they even have conventional genders or if they're if i don't know what the fuck those things could reproduce asexually for all i know reaper leviathan leviathan class species are vast organisms at the top of their respected food chains this species is a streamlined hunter with highly developed senses uh the leviathan is capable of a, a knock of a knock i like that the threat oh yeah the threat meter is like nearly at the top <laughs> Echolocation. The deep roar emitted by the Reaper is at, at regular intervals is effectively sonar. If you can hear it, the Reaper can see you. That is freaky. Uh, profile. Scanned specimen measures 55 meters long, observed circling its prey and attacking from behind. So that's what it tried to do to me. Clever bitch. This creature is almost all muscle, very little brain, obviously. No sense of morality, just muscle, synapses, and teeth. <laughs> Jesus. Motivational note, congratulations on getting close enough to scan it and living to see the results. Assessment, extreme threat, avoid in all circumstances. Yet yeah, don't fucking say. And let's take a couple of batteries with us because we are going back down into the purple caves. And just in case we encounter anything unsavory down there, I'm taking the stasis rifle with me. I feel safe when I have a firearm, when I have a firearm on me. What can I say? All right, uh, let's see, back this way we go. I did not realize that the stasis rifle can stun something for as long as it does. Like, holy shit. If you charge that thing up to full, whatever you hit, it is screwed. Like, it cannot catch you if you manage to get away. All right, back down to the caves. Yep, sorry, fish. Sorry again, fish. I'm hitting so many goddamn fish. But yes, back down into the purple caverns. Okay, they're kind of more magenta, pink-ish, something like that. But yes, we're looking for the artificial structure. That's... Hello. Okay, yeah, we're we're dealing with the uh, with the big bullworm boys. So let's uh, let's find a different way around. Ooh, hang on. Oh ho, that looks like a structure. You gonna give me shit if I go for that? Are you gonna give me shit? I don't like these noises! If all y'all couldn't tell. Listen. Listen. Hey. hey. You got a problem? You got a problem, buddy? You got a- you- do- you got a problem? You got a problem. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> hey, listen, buddy. Listen. Buddy, look. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but you ain't biting your way through this thing. Alright, let's, uh... Let's do a quick... Hi, hello. I have a gun, I am not afraid to use it, I'm just afraid of you. But that gives me even more reason to use it. Hmm. Anything... Jesus, what the fuck happened to this place? Is that little biter? Oh, you're infected. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Let's head this way. Sorry. Hello. Don't worry. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. There's gotta be something down here. I just don't know where to look. Let's try going deeper. Yeah, maybe. Sorry. I just keep fucking headbutting fish. I'm sorry. It just happens. Okay, nothing down here except for more of them mushrooms. Well, there is this area with the thermal vents, but I, yay. 
Yeah, I don't want to get too close. I don't want to start damaging my only means of transportation right now. Hello. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a threat. I promise. I promise. You are completely safe. That's my cue to move. Okay, I think we lost whatever that was. So let's go this way. I keep hitting fish. I'm sorry, it just happens. I'm not trying. So here's a structure. There's... It's been overgrown. Something fierce. Uh, let's take a peek. Nuclear reactor. Why, I think I will. I will, rather. And we don't have a nuke reactor yet. We still need to get the last few pieces for it, but I'm sure we'll find high. Don't worry. I'm just gonna squeeze on by ya. Oh. Water filtration system. That sounds handy. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. That's Certainly, not nice. It's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. <laughs> it's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, Welcome shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, ow, which ow, ow. fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alrighty then. Uh, yeah, I know I missed something. <laughs> that was super late, game. Holy shit. That was super late. Uh, but yeah, I know I missed something. I was just going to get some oxygen. Uh, tech all- Ow, oh, really? Tech already in PDA. God damn it. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, well, we did get a water filtration system, so that's nice. Anything else in here, though? I- I think that's everything. Pretty sure. Let's hear the other logs from this man. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. Ow. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here? If we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful. I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. These are <laughs> integrating new PDA data. Stop interrupting me, game, it's rude. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat five hundred meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. 
She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne arm. Mina thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return Ow. to the island and hope whatever not the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet... They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of those rescue ships got shot down, which is why we were sent here. All right, I know that there's, I know that this is a lot to listen to, but like, I, uh, like, I am legit interested in this stuff. So yeah, and I'm just gonna be listening to this while we, uh, while we're searching around because I'm, I'm almost like, th th this place has got to go deeper. It's got to. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. And one more. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Well, we already know they're dead, but they apparently went deeper. So, yeah, that just kind of reinforces my idea that this isn't everything. There's more to this place. There's gotta be something else here. So I'm gonna be searching around for a while. There has to be more here somewhere. Look, look, I'm just passing through. I'm not bothering any of you. You don't bother me, I won't bother you. That's how this works. That's how the great circle of life works. Ow! <laughs> it also works better if I look for the fuck I'm going. Yeah, that's familiar, so we want to go, uh... Actually, no, we're, we went backward. We want to go this way. I keep fucking sidewinding fish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really. I don't mean to hurt these poor innocent creatures. At least the small ones. The big ones, maybe. But like, the small ones, I don't mean to hurt them. But I can't watch where I'm going in a 360 degree radius. Well, shit. Okay, so, uh, there was something north- they said northeast. Which would be this way. So 500, we need to go, so, okay. Uh, let's just familiarize myself with what's in that direction. All right, you know what? We'll actually know for camera, we'll actually know the direction from camera six over there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Got a lot of shit to think about. Again, the bubbles, the horrifying bubbles, dear God. Actually, let's go investigate use pod, because I'm curious. Also, I'd like to get out of the kelp forest so I can more clearly see where the fuck I'm going. 
I really just don't like going out in these big open areas. Especially when I know that big mean things tend to hide in them. Hello. Yeah, 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 fuck off. Okay, we're getting close. I believe it is time we go down. Ah, it's a fuck, fuck. <laughs> I think I can't fish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? It just happens. There's apparently stuff behind us. I think it's just the fucking bone sharks. For fuck's sake. What the f- on the land masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. What the fuck? I'm sorry, I know I'm hesitating a lot, but this is freaky, okay? This is freaky being out in the open ocean like this at night. <sighs> I don't like it. I really don't like it. And I can't see the floor below me. Oh, I don't want to continue. I don't want to continue. Excuse me, fish. Fish. It is time for you to leave. Am I being attacked? No, the hole's fine. I think it was just the fish. Yeah, it's just all the fish I'm hitting. Okay. Okay, we can see the floor now, at least. Oh god. What the fuck? What am I looking at? What am I actually looking at? Don't tell me. I wanna- I wanna find out on my own. Well, what the fuck am I looking at? Why that music sting? Why that music sting? Hmm? I think that just means I'm close to something. Yeah, let's move forward a little bit. All right, you know what? I'm gonna lower myself down a bit. Hi, Warper. Why this music? Like, why? <laughs> This does not help calm me down at all. All right, <clears throat> prawn soup. It's time to disembow. Okay, <laughs> just launch me that way. I feel a little safer when I have a little bit more maneuverability. Well, we, all I see are reapers so far. Not reapers, warpers. Hope to God there's not a reaper down here. Okay, can't self scan that. Can I cut that? Nope. Hurry up and get in. Because I know I heard something. <sighs> Just in case, let's pick up a bunch of this because I'm probably going to need it. Contains blood. Ah, benzene. Okay, so that's what we can make. To, that's what we need to make some uh, upgrades for the. Uh, uh, for the big thing, the Cyclops, the Poochus Mobile. Let's just store these, as much of these as we can in here. In fact, actually, whoa. Is that a Reaper? What is that? Yeah, I think that's a reaper. I see the mandibles. That's a reaper. Engine powering up. Let's park this thing a little closer to the sea. Floor, that is. I heard you, and I saw you, and I don't much care for you. Yeah, let's park a little lower. Not by much. Uh, did I hit it? I think I might have hit it. <laughs> I hope to God I hit it. Uh, anyway. Yeah, not by much. That should be enough. Oh, hello. <laughs> Just ignore that. <laughs> hello. 
Fuck off. What the fuck? Piss off. All right, come on. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna go after I, uh, look, I'm just gonna get past you. Cause I heard a warper. Oh, one punch, huh? <laughs> the most elaborate death pose. And immediate rigor mortis. Hello. What the fuck? What? I'm going back to the prawn suit. I what the fuck was that? Out of my way. Hello? Ah, fucking warpers, man. I don't like just getting a glimpse of something and then not being able to see it ever again. I can't fucking see it. It was in frame for like half a second. I'm not continuing until I can find what that thing was. Stop. <laughs> Stop with that noise. Piss off. Piss off. I can see it now. Still, I'm only getting a glimpse. I want to see what this thing looks like for like for for full like for real in full. Can't see directly above me. What the f is it below me? Where is this fucking thing? I'm sorry guys, I know I'm taking a while to move on here, but like, I really want to see what this thing is. Both out of my own curiosity and a morbid desire to punch it. Whoa, hello! What the fuck? Right, well, I've seen it. I've seen enough. We're going back down. Whoa, whoa! All right, look, if you're gonna come down to me, I will, I will fucking go right here and now. We'll fucking go right here and now, motherfucker. All right, fuck it, come here. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought, Mr. Goddamn Krabs with the weird head. Piss off. Try to come into me, try to come over here and brain blast all over me. Yeah, I'll fucking punch you right in that giant head of yours. Asserted my goddamn dominance. <sighs> Fuck's sake. All right, if you're coming down here, piss the fuck. What the fuck? What the fuck? Get. What the fuck? All right, I'm I'm get I'm getting back to my Cyclops. You should scan it. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Let's uh, let's go back up, park my prawn suit. I mean, at the very least, I know I can fight those brain things off, and the warpers are weird. This whole area is freaky, fascinating but freaky, and I kind of still want to explore it. Yeah, what's got me freaked is the fact we know there's a reaper out there. And I can- I know I can stun it at least. Maybe even make it retreat. But... I can't guarantee that last part. I can definitely escape it, maybe. But let's go down to the- let's go down to the life pod. Kinda forgot that's what we were here for in the first place. Hello, what is that? That's a zappy boy. I'm gonna punch you if you get too close. Consider that a warning. Hello again. Hi. Yeah, remember these things? You wanna get you wanna get another taste of them? You wanna get another taste of this? You're currently standing in the way of the pod that I need to get to. So if you are going to Yeah, alright, fuck it. Let's go, big brain. Come on. Come over here. I'm gonna punch your goddamn lights out. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. Cyclops depth meter mark one. Nice. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. O2 
Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Now I know there's likely more. Welcome up. Captain. All systems online. I'm going to call you Jeffrey, AI. Your name is Jeffrey now. Uh, but yeah, I know there's likely more down there, but I want to get that, um... <clears throat> I want to- I want to take a look at that, uh... Well, first of all, actually, let me go get, uh, the blood stuff. See if we can make the bezanine with it. Uh, yep, we can just make it. Oh, we need three to make one? Oh, well, thank God there's a lot, but still. What else do we need? Uh, poly- polyaniline. I have no idea where we get that from. Oh boy, I gotta be honest, I don't want to go back out there just yet, but, uh... Well, I mean, it's turning slightly lighter out. <clears throat> There's gotta be more out there. I'll go on one more run. Uh, well, why am I going down here? I'll go on one more run. Hi again, big brain. You're gonna cause issues or am I gonna have to give you another black eye? Listen. Okay, alright, fine. Alright, fine. What? What? My- my pal- Oh my god, you son of a bitch. It just- okay, it doesn't drain all the power. It just temporarily disables it. Listen, buddy. Listen. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I am gonna- I killed it. I killed it. It's dead. It's dead. I killed that son of a bitch. You saw it here. Well, I mean, it's not- dead yet. It's just kind of floating. It's good enough. Good enough. It's dead. For the most part. It's it's dead enough for me. It's no longer moving and it's not pursuing me anymore. It's out- it's out of here. Scan? Uh, yeah, actually it's not moving up anymore, so I may as well. Let's see what this thing is. Crab squid. Yeah, I don't think that thing's gonna be giving me trouble for a while. If it- if it survived, it is definitely not coming back to fight me again. Stop right there, criminal scum! Out of the way. This might be the area that the Torgals were going to. Oh, hold on, Magnetite. Magnetite, gonna need you. Hey, piss off. Piss off. You gonna come here? You gonna- yeah, yeah, fuck you. I killed your big crab, daddy. None of you stand a fucking chance. I gotta admit, it is quite nice to know that I can just punch things in the next week with my, uh, with my prawn suit. I finally got to test it out on something bigger and meaner looking. And I don't think there's a whole lot- hang on, let's- let's head down here. Yeah, I can still hear the roar. I know it's somewhere out there. I just don't want to go find it. Oh, hang on. That- that's a big cave. Actually, that's a- uh, well, hello. Hi. I guess there's more than one of you. One question- one- one moment. I'm gonna check what the threat level was on that squid. Ah, uh, pretty high. A large predator can be found deep in deep waters where it lurks amongst the blood kelp membrane trees in search of prey. It can deploy a powerful electromagnetic pulse to defend itself. Uh, neutralizes electrical equipment. Lights attract its unwanted attention. Well, thankfully, its face attracts my fists. So I'm fine with that. If and if this one wants to come tangle with me, I'm gonna fuck it up too. And stop making that noise. Hello. Hello. Alright, come on. I know I can avoid that. I, I did avoid, or at least that electromagnetic pulse did miss me before. Yeah, see, you can jump over it. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you saw what I did to your brother. You saw what I did to him. You thought you'd try your luck, and then you immediately regretted your decision. Oh, hello. Didn't mean to fucking punch it. I want to pick it up. For once, the solution to the problem isn't punching it. Piss off. No, no, no. Go away. Local scans show a nearby opening, leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. And extensive life forms, I'm gonna go ahead and guess. But, uh, well, at least we found where the next biome's at. I'm gonna take a peek. Oh, okay, it actually shows us the proposed Agassi ha uh, habitat. I actually didn't see that. Okay, so we're- we're a good ways away from that. But, I mean, at least we know where it is. And I boop. Excuse me, can you get off my windshield? Thank you. 
Well, this place looks interesting. And what might these be? Let us do a scan. A uh, simple, non-sentient organism found attached to land with high levels of fossilized organic matter. Okay, so is this like a fucking graveyard for fish? I also imagine... Anything I find down here, I'm gonna go ahead and save just in case. I also imagine this area, judging by judging by the floor, this area would be poisonous to me normally. Yep, stuck on something. Whoa, hello. Okay. Yeah, that's not a Reaper. At least I don't think it is. It has a flatter head. I don't think that's- I don't think that thing in the distance is a reaper. Gonna take a slightly closer look. Hmm. Maybe from the side. Maybe walking out in the middle of the open area is probably not a good idea. Pardon me. Pardon me. Uh, well, I planted that thing in the ground. You know, if I'm gonna go down there, I want a means of escape. So, okay, if I'm gonna go down here, I want a means of actually, like, getting out relatively quickly at least. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get back to the Cyclops. And next time we play, we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna explore this place. Is that the dead one or is that- nope. Hello again. Hi. Yeah, yeah, you 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 recognize me. That's the same one I punched a moment ago. Yeah, you recognize me, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, hard to forget these, isn't it? It's kind of funny how I went from being <laughs> how I went from being unnerved around those things to just kind of like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. The moment I learned I can punch them and at least seemingly kill them. And that was a nice noise. Alright. Let's get back into our mobile home, as it were. Well, that was, uh... That was an interesting experience. But yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna stop the stream for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, fun as always. This game is both... V v intensely fucking creepy. But I really do like it a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed. I certainly did. I, I wonder why you can't just grab the- grab the enemies by their tail and punch them. I wish you could. I fucking wish you could. The prawn suit needs a grapple option. <laughs> Not a grappling hook, but like you put- you like- I would fucking love, okay? If I could, like, fly up, grab those things, like put the- put the fucking four-eyed crab thing in a headlock and just start punching its face. <laughs> I would fucking love that. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for coming. Y'all have a good night. I will figure all- I will, uh, I will figure out. I will talk to you all later. And, uh, bye. If you want to catch these streams way before they appear on YouTube, then be sure to go follow me at twitch.tv slash Sathorvan. I stream every weekend, and I would love to see you there. If you want to keep up to date with this channel, then be sure to like this video, hit subscribe, and click that bell icon so you don't miss a single upload. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.